Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we're taking a look at an asset from the Unity Asset Store, simply called City Voxel Pack. Now, what I like most about this is the simplicity. That is what attracted me to this in the first place. So it does come with a couple of demo scenes, and I'm in just one of the demo scenes. And yes, I know it's simplistic, and you know it's low poly as it were, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that is a bad thing. It's really well designed, and this demo scene really gives you an indication of what you could do with a, a city. And I guess in some way, if you want to make a really low spec, low poly GTA game, or you know maybe Watchdog style game, or some kind of low poly city racer, this is awesome. This is really really good, and it'll work well on mobile games, obviously because well, it's actually a really small file, 1.3 meg for all of this. That's really, really good. And just look at it. It's going to be quick and easy to use. So you're not going to have loading problems anywhere, anyhow. Uh, so the assets that we've got, quantity-wise, got the buildings. We've got really, really well laid out. Loads of stuff to do as well. Just, just loads. There's loads of content to this. And you're not restricted to just having this as it is. You could modify this further and add a brick texture to this if you wanted to. Add a glass texture. If you wanted to, you, you do whatever you want. Like I say with these assets, you're never restricted to just how the asset comes. But if I zoom out, you can see just how amazing this could be. I am really impressed with this asset so far from my use of it. And I really like how it's designed. So going back a couple of levels, we've got the uh, props right here. So we've got doors and windows. We've got the pavements. Prefabs right there, real easy to use, all textures that you would ever need. And then you got the roads, real, real simple to use. So you can connect all this together and make a huge, huge low poly open city. Or if you add your own textures, your own high quality textures, these could be used as just the base of things, just the outline model of things, and you can add your own. So if you wanted maybe a city in the background or something, this is gonna be really good. You know, like a city that no one ever goes to. It's just there as a prop in the background. This is really, really good. Um, so, yeah, the ease of use, really, really easy to use. Really, really customizable. Quality, yeah, well, it's low poly, so you get what you see. You can easily customize this further if you need to. Just keep in mind that low poly, not everyone likes low poly. I am a bit of a fan of it, in, in all honesty, but some people aren't. Uh, extras, not sure if there's anything in the way of extras. Uh, it is what it is. You get what you see. And the quantity that you get more than makes up for it. The usefulness, I would say, is very useful even if you're prototyping a game. Uh, if you're just prototyping, like, say, a, a Grand Theft Auto, you want to build a big open world city, something like that, but you want a quick prototype first, this is going to be great for a quick prototype. And if you have, have just a little bit of post-processing, it can look even better. It can look really nice depending if you're, you know, aiming for that style of game. But it's always down to you when it comes to something like post-processing. I personally love working with post-processing. It's one of my favourite things, weirdly enough. Um, but yeah, I think it's really, really nice. Um, I, I can't really fault this asset in any way, shape or form because it's really, really good. Especially considering it's free. Or at least it's free at the time of recording this review. It may be um, a couple of dollars if you see it. It still may be free. I'm not 100% sure because they change all the time. Prices just depends on the creator. But if it's free, I would really give this a go, guys. So as you know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. And I would recommend this. I absolutely would recommend it. If you're looking to create an open world city game, Always, always try and prototype quickly what you want to aim for. And this is going to be an amazing asset to prototype with. It's even going to be a really good asset to bring into a full game if you wanted to. Look, this demo scene's even got a little back alley there. That's cool. I didn't spot that before. Nice. So yeah, I would recommend this. And if you're creating, like I say, a low poly city racing game or something, this is going to be really, really good and fun to use as well. I think that's the most important thing. It's fun to use. So yes, I would recommend this asset. So guys, have you used it in your game? Have you used anything from this package? Let me know in the comments what you think of it. And if you've got an asset on the asset store yourself, please let me know because I'd love to check it out. Just post a link to it in the comment below. 
and uh, I might be able to review it in one of these little review videos. Finally, guys, don't forget, click on that subscribe button, click on the bell icon as well, and you can stay up to date with everything I upload on video game development on my channel. There's always something new to see, always something new to learn, and I upload regularly. Guys, thank you very much for watching.